the solutions to deforestation. The first way you can help solve deforestation is to reduce or avoid single-use packaging. Single-use packaging includes individually wrapped snacks, disposable razors, plastic cups, straws, and silverware. The use of these products all cause increased issues with deforestation. Instead, choose compostable and biodegradable products because over time they will break down and will not sit in landfills. You could pack reusable bags when you're shopping, avoid plastic wrap by using reusable containers, and you can even buy reusable straws that are made out of bamboo, metal, or glass. The second way you can help solve deforestation is by following the statement, reduce, reuse, and recycle. You can lessen the effects of deforestation by choosing recycled products like paper bags, shopping bags, tissue paper, and books by reusing them in the future. Reusing these products helps reduce the need to cut down more forests. Many stores today have shopping bag drop-offs where you can return your bags that you took from the store. In other ways, you can use old wood from buildings, furniture, and other things to use the wood to make decorations and furniture in the future. Fun fact, if all of our newspaper was recycled, we could save about 250 million trees a year. The third thing that you could do to help solve deforestation is to eat sustainable food. Meat products are one of the worst foods for deforestation, especially red meat from cows. By eating more of a plant-based diet or just reducing your consumption of animal products, you protect forests in all aspects of nature. If you went an entire year without eating beef, you'd save 3,432 trees, with only one pound of beef saving 45 to 55 trees. There are many companies today that produce many plant-based meat options without soy, including Beyond Meat, Dr. Prager's, and Sunshine Burgers. In other ways, to eat sustainably, you can plant your own garden. By planting your own fruits and vegetables, fewer trees will be cut down to produce larger scale agriculture businesses. The fourth thing that you can do to help solve deforestation is to avoid purchasing products with soybean and palm oil. Soybean and palm oil plantations remove many hectares of trees annually. Many everyday products, including foods and cosmetics, contain either palm oil or soybean. Some baking products like brownie mixes and puffed rice made by Pillsbury and Quaker do not contain palm oil or soybean ingredients. One of the easiest ways to look at a product and find out if it has soybean or palm oil is to look at the terms used in its ingredients. Some common names for palm oil include palm oil, retinol palmitate, sodium palmate, vitamin A palmitate, ascorbyl palmitate, octyl palmitate, isopropyl palmitate, and palmitoyl acid. And soybean may go by names such as soy fiber, soy concentrate, soy lecithin, soybean flour, soya, textured soy protein, soy protein, and soy milk. The fifth thing that you can do to help solve deforestation is to use responsibly sourced wood products. By using products certified by the FSC or the Forest Stewardship Council, you ensure that you're not supporting illegal logging. Not only that, but you also support companies that are working towards sustainable wood production. The Forest Stewardship Council standardizes in forage management and provides a system for those working towards forest management. The sixth thing that you can do to help solve deforestation is to raise awareness in your community or the people close to you. You can do this by informing your friends, family, and community about everyday actions and how they can impact forests around the world. Whether you hold a gathering, create educational videos, or just talk to a friend about the situations, you create this awareness around deforestation. If you have kids or know many kids, teach them about the importance of trees and the major environmental impacts of having them. The last thing that you can do to help solve deforestation is to plant a tree where you can. Planting a tree does not mean that you have to plant hundreds. Even by planting a tree in your backyard or where you work, you can help contribute to the lack of tree planting. If trees are planted regularly, you can help contribute to the spread of tree cover in your community. Remember this. According to the Arbor Day Foundation, one mature tree has the ability to absorb more than 48 pounds of carbon dioxide emissions from atmosphere in a year. You know the solutions to deforestation. What action will you take?